Hello everybody and welcome to Fernboss. I'm Mr. Cheno and this is going to be the first time that I've ever done this video on the channel. It's been something I wanted to do pretty much from the start. Well, it's been something I've been interested in. But I've seen other YouTubers play it and the game got a lot of bad reviews. And I mean, you know, some absolutely shocking reviews. So, it eventually came on to sale on Steam and I thought, well, you know what? They've done a lot of updating to the game. So, I'll give it a look. And... I gave it a look and yeah, there has been a lot of improvements to it, but unlike some YouTubers, um, some people that play the game, I'm going to be totally and utterly honest about the game and its problems. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start, start the game, there we go. See I've done a, t a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very short journey. So I'm going to do, hmm, what one will we do? Let's do Bon a Cologne. Um, we'll just do the small bus. And I've put in the Scottish City Link bus livery. Like that. I think that looks cool. I prefer it to the to the Fern bus, the Flix bus logo. I mean, I know it's Scottish. I know we're driving on the wrong side of the road, but these are our options. And I prefer the City Link one. So, yeah, we're going with that. Um, back. I just want to go back for a second because I want to change the number. I keep meaning to change the number on that. Um, we're going to go for 87 for the simple matter that it looks better. It looks better on the bus having a number on it than 00. Zero, zero. Zero, 00 looks stupid. Um, yep, yeah, so we'll go Bond to Cologne. It's a very short drive. We're going to your City Link bus randomly in Germany. That's fine. Um, weather dynamic, etc, etc, start game. So yeah, um, it takes a while to load, so I'm just going to cut this out. There's no sense in having people sit through it to see how long it loads. It takes a while, let's just say that, but I'll see you when the game loads up. And here we go, we're in the game, finally. That took a good few minutes. So yeah, we'll start on the positives in this little review, preview, gameplay thing that I'm doing. <laughs> um, right, we'll start on the positives. First one being, the bosses look tremendous. The actual visuals of the game, you can't really see it here, but we'll see it when we go on the road, especially on the Autobahn, are very good. Uh, you know, for a simulator type thing, they're, they're lovely. Um, as I say, I'll walk around the bus. So yeah, it's all detailed and nice. For some reason, the Flex bus thing sits on the window now. I don't think it used to, but obviously, with Flixbus being involved in the promotion and development of the game, they maybe just didn't like people putting putting their own companies in on top of theirs. So yeah, um, things like, you know, the luggage compartments and everything all open on the bus. So that's all very nice. Details all lovely. Um, we've got one round this side too. That opens. Uh, the door's all open. See, it's uh, the cabins of the bus is very nicely done. The bus itself is very detailed. You can get out, you can wander around in the open world. You can get onto the bus, you can, you know, wander around the bus, which is nice. That's all nice and detailed. That's the real positives of the game. The actual driving of the bus itself. The bus itself feels quite good. Uh, that's another positive. See, they've got that right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the bus and I'll talk more through the game when we get out on onto the open road. But the first things first we're going to set up. So we'll switch the electrics on. There we go. Now we want to flick through all our options. So first things first, we'll close the front door. Uh, right, what we're wanting on is we'll start the engine. And that's us got that. Um, fanfare on. We'll put the Wi-Fi, the kitchen, and the toilet light on, so it's ready. We'll just put all the lights on for the passengers ready to come on. We don't need the announcement on. Um, we want that. We want that. So we've got the little screen on above our heads. Uh, doors unlocked. Switch the air conditioning on. There we go. And sometimes that's a little bit buggy. You see that pixelated display up there? It's coming up now, but sometimes it doesn't like to it's sort of jammed again. So 22 is a nice temperature for it to be up to. So we'll just turn it to there. That will do. 
it might get there eventually on that pixelated display, but hey ho, if it does, it does. Um, that's our right. Next thing we want is we want the particle filters on. We'll just switch them on. See, I mean, you could even lift the bus suspension and everything, which is nice. Um, we'll just switch all this on. Brake matic on. Right. Where are we? We'll put our window shade down a bit. About there, I'll be fine for the low sun. Put the destination display on. That should have came up 87, and I don't think it did. Oh well. Ah, uh, yeah, we can open and close our window and everything. Which is all very nice. So I think we are more or less ready to go. So I'll just set the camera back up. Um, do that, do that, and I think we're ready to go. So yeah, good things in the game. I've pretty much been over them. The ability to interact with the passengers, you know, get their tickets on, get them on the bus and everything like that, is good. But how a lot of things are implemented in the game. There's issues, let's just say that much. Got the lights on as well. Traffic. It's dim-witted, let's just say the least. Um, intersections, junctions, whatever you want to call them, they can get confused. If you, if the bus is not perfectly in its lane and there's traffic coming the other way, they will not go around you, for example. Um, you could end up just with... It is moving. You could just end up with a backlog of traffic, which is a problem. Uh, I'm just going to edge out as T going it. See, they're all too slow to respond now that the lights are red. So, yeah, we're stuck again. Lovely. We're never getting out of here. That's a great start. So look at that, it's just a stream of traffic on that side. That's not good. I might I might be naughty here and I might just edge into the traffic. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to say as well that the optimization for this game, the PC optimization for this game, is absolutely shocking. I mean, my PC is relatively good specs. It's, you know, it's not the strongest computer out on YouTube by any stretch of the imagination, but it's compared to what the average, you know, game player would have. It's it's beastly compared to that. And yeah, okay, I'm running this on high settings, but. I'm being a bit cheeky here. There we go. See, now you'll see what I mean. Or maybe you won't. Maybe I got away with that one. Hold on. No. See, now, that police car could get around me. It could. If I wanted to, it could. But it's not going to. So, yeah. I can't actually now see the lights because I've tried to let him through. And you see it's now backed up the whole traffic situation. And he's away to hit the police car. This is exactly what I mean. The uh, bottlenecks too easy. But the worst part of the traffic is on the autobahn. It's the motorway, the freeway, whatever you want to call it. Um, the situation there being that they will often just stop dead in the middle of the motorway for no reason whatsoever. And you driving your 20 ton coach at 70, 80, 100 kilometers an hour, are they all going to be able to work it out and get through? No, don't go there. Or there. And now he's just totally stopped dead. So yeah, I'm going, I'm going to cheat and then I'm going to go back in. There we go. Right, there we go, we got through. Eventually we got through. But you see, that that's all bottlenecked up from someone not being having the intelligence to get through. Past me, even though the road was open. Even though it was just the back corner of the bus. Um, I think my window shade's just a little bit too... That'll do it. Oh, we're green. So yeah, 
Um, back to the point on optimization, though. Um, or was I on the point of uh Hold on, I'm just going to switch lanes because I've lost track of my own points. <laughs> yeah, the traffic just stopping dead in autobahn is a problem. Uh, it's something you really need to watch out for because you can't stop and you end up in a huge crash on the autobahn, which isn't great. But I mean, a lot of things in this game are very well done. There we go, we sweep through there. Come on camera, reset. There's a train in the distance, that was quite cool. But yeah, they also added the ability to be able to zoom in and out the GPS, which is a big problem on the on the earlier versions of the game, which is nice. So there has been lots of little bits of progress in the game. But yeah, as I was saying on the optimization point, we got there in the end. Uh, the optimization is very, very, very poor, and you will see, even on a strong, strong, strong PC, it doesn't like loading things in. So, the mirrors look better than they used to in other versions, well, earlier versions of the game, where they were all foggy and everything. They're not really foggy now, they're quite clear now, which is quite nice. So, they've sorted that out, but there is definite issues. See, and he's decided to switch lanes. I mean, if he had any sense, he would have switched lanes earlier. And not caught myself a red light. So yeah, the traffic is dopey. Let's let's just get that straight out of the bat. Uh, straight out there. And be honest, the game has a lot of issues. And it's a train going the other way. Very nice. But here we are. As I clip the curb, I think, on the way in. And that's us here. So what we'll do is we'll get out. Did I not open the door? I didn't. That, that was a bit of a rookie mistake. Um, there we go. Hello everyone. We can get their bags in. Right. Oh, I need to log in. I forgot to do that. Log on to my personal computer. Um, Hamburg. We're not going to Hamburg. Oh. Yeah, oh. You're going to Cologne. That's where we're going. That's fine. I'll book you a ticket, ma'am. That's no bother. Um, there they are. And you're welcome. Next. Cologne. Yeah, we can do that. He's just... Maybe we should call him an ambulance. Hi there. Um, Cologne, yes, we can do that. Cologne, yeah, we'll book you a ticket, that's no bother. Sell you a ticket. Let's go, yeah, let's. Cologne, yeah, that's fine. Cologne, yes, on you go. Mm-hmm, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Hello. You're fine. How about you? You look very serious. You're okay. You're right here. That's fine. And you're you're fine. Because that's all sort of yeah. Just him that's a bit lost. Does anyone have any bags? I don't see any bags in there. So we're good on that. Um, how many is it saying that we have on board? Twelve. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. And it, we were meant to set it off in a few minutes time, but hey ho. Um, I'm going to play the announcement now for people. Close the door. Lock, lock, lock. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. And I'm just going to get back a second or two and then we'll head off. Right, I'm just going to say off before departure in a second. What I'm going to do just before I go is I'm going to 
turn the mood lighting off. Uh, the passenger lights are still on, that's fine. So they've got the reading lights if they want them. We're going to have you on board and that break off get you to your into gear today. and let's just head off. We would like to share some information about the journey. Get that off the, the screen as well. There we go. On board the bus. Just while the lights are green, let's go. Please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire room located in the rear boarding area. Once he's finished his spiel, if you would like to I'll be bare. Free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power. See, it's only a 45 kilometer journey in total, so if you would like to book your next nice journey quick. while you're on the road, simply relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Traffic Light Simulator 2017. Oh, there's some bugging out in the mirrors there, look. Some weird graphical texture issue. Yeah, you might notice that even my PC is struggling to pop the odd little thing in, especially when we get at higher speed onto the onto the dual carriageway. I'm all getting at this lane. I can never, I never know what lane to be in. I think it can be in either. Yeah, that's the turn left lane. So I, I was right. But yeah, it struggles to load in certain textures on the road. You know, the road markings. And the road signs and everything, even even with the textures turned down, it struggles. Which is pretty awful, to tell you the truth. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not, you know, I'm not ripping into the game for the sake of ripping into the game. A lot of things in it are very good, but it needs, it, it still needs a lot of work. I mean, look, you can see there will go 80 kilometers an hour we're doing pretty much. And look at the road markings in the distance, how, how late they're popping in. It takes away a lot from the, from the game itself, in, in my opinion. For a game to be based on the road, then, for the road to be a little bit strange is a bit, yeah. It's the main focus of the game, it should be better than that. But, look at the actual scenery around, it's quite nice. But you can see that centre line there, how late it's popping in. We're coming into a town here, and I know the speed limit's going to change, and I know I'm going to get caught speeding unless it starts slowing up. Like that. But we didn't get caught speeding, so we're fine. Yeah, we've got... and... Oh! No sooner had we stopped, but we were off again. So yeah, if you see around the town here as well, it's very nice. You get the odd little bit of pop in. But, you know, nothing too... Nothing too major, it's more the road surface thing that bothers me than, you know, texture popping around. Like buildings and things like that. But, I need to point out as well that this is on a PC where it doesn't have performance issues. You see where... I'll just nip through the lights here. I can run even like Grand Theft Auto 5 with LSPDFR, all the bells and whistles running absolute full pelt on this PC. And it struggles with this game. This is the only game that I've ever heard that has not been able to run perfectly at full pelt. We've not really seen any stuttering or loading in tiles as such on this, which I have heard. I mean, like I say, this probably all sounds... Yeah, I think I grazed the fence there. 
Oh well. Um, like I say, this probably all comes across as extremely negative about the game. It's honestly not, because it does do a lot of things. It's so close to being a very, very good game. It's so close to being a very good simulator, it just needs to tweak some parts. But unfortunately, we've not seen it in this. But there is some parts of it that are close to being a game breaker. Specifically, the traffic suddenly stopping in the middle of the autobahn, for no reason whatsoever. Are we going to make the lights? We are. And we're going to make the second one. We're flying. That's why they call me Mr. Greenlight. Oh, I'm not going to make this one. Damn it. Oh. I almost made it. Come on. Accelerate. And green light again. Apparently that sluggish initial acceleration is deliberate. It's, well, obviously the bus is heavy, but it's built in by the bus manufacturer for passenger comfort. The Wi-Fi is malfunctioning. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll switch the Wi-Fi off there. Are you happy? You've got no Wi-Fi at all now. Get over it. You've got, like, two minutes maximum until we, you get off the bus anyway, so not my problem. Right, go on, policemen. Oh, well. Oh, see that? And I start to move, and then they do that. I know I've clipped the curve, but... Now the restroom's malfunctioning. What the hell are they doing back there? Entschuldigung, das Klo ist verstopft. The toilet is backing up. Well, you're just going to have to wait like 30 seconds. We're almost there. Eee. Back wheel. Das ging ja mal fix. There you go, now get off my bus and stop moaning. Um, let's see, unlock doors. Unlock, unlock. Open, open. There we go, and there's the passengers, and there's the thing for their luggage. Okay, see you later. So that is us. Oh, that's the map. Let's see what our rating was. I think it was generally okay by our one tiny little prang, where we just grazed a fence and no more. Service. What, we were late? I didn't even check the time. Oh well. I got there as quick as I could. Yeah, see, we grazed the fence very slightly, but we only lost one, one XP for it, so it's fine. And safety distance broken was that uh, truck that we were very close behind when I said, what's going on here? So, yeah, we know what that was. So yeah, that's basically that. That's basically just a quick look and a quick, quick basic review of Fernbus. I hope to be doing a little bit more, do some longer journeys and everything. It'll be better when I can do more chilled out episodes, sort of, you know, just discuss things and everything during, during playing it. So that, that'll be that'll be better than just rattling through it like we just did here on a very quick journey. But I just wanted to get, you know, get the game out there, let people see it, let people comment on it, um, see, see how it went down basically before deciding to take it any further. There's no point stringing together a big long episode and then finding people just aren't interested in watching it. So let me know what you think and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.